welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a updated makeup video um, basically in this video it's just going to be a few of the things that I have either recently brought or had for a while that I haven't already spoken about um, so without further ado let's begin so, so I'm just moving this out of the way that I had my list of stuff um, so the first things I want to go through is uh, powders so I have got the airbrush away finishing powder in translucent um, it just looks like this I have used it quite a bit um, you probably can't tell but I have used it quite a bit anyway um, and this is obviously in that new packaging where before I had the one in the old packaging but they don't do that anymore so I had to get the new packaging and then the other uh, powers I've got is I've got this Hydroluminous Ceramide Press Powder in the shade 2 uh, it looks like this I have again start use this quite a bit um, and I basically brought this because uh, at the time when I needed my powder um, they didn't have the light version of the uh, press powder in the new packaging that I'd need for the one when I had the fair one in the old packaging uh, because of an, like, a manufacturing issue. Um, so when I asked them, they said this was a good one for, to go for and she said shade 2 because they tried a bit on my, on my skin and they said 2 was probably the best shade rather than going for a pale one. Um, and this is really nice, it feels, um, it actually feels really lightweight, um, I normally use this for work, I have started using it when I wear a foundation but I just really like this because it does feel lightweight and it feels a lot more um, lighter than say than this one would which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so moving on from that, the other one that I've got is the Flawless Finishing Powder in Light. Um, so this one I haven't used as much. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of like a palish colour. Um, basically, this is the one that they said to that they said for me to use, which is the same shade as Fair in the old packaging. Um, and then obviously I was able to buy this recently because of the manufacturing issue they were able to sort it all out and everything so yeah um so the next two things i've got is mascaras um so first mascara i've got is the intense volume waterproof mascara um and normally all my waterproof mascaras i wear for work this is in the shade black and it just looks like this um it's basically the same as, if I show you this one, same as the Intense Volume one, again this is in black um, and it's just the waterproof version so if any water goes on it or anything like that it won't run down my face whereas this one would. So that's that one, so that's nice, like I said I have all my mascaras in my box but most of them are normal and then I've got three that are like waterproof for work. Um, so the next one I've got is the Lash Extender Fiber. Now I have got, if I can just show you, I have got two of the Lash Extenders because when I brought um, this Lash Extender, so if I just get it out and show you the difference. Uh, when I bought this lash extender, I didn't realise it was the same as that one. So, obviously, I brought another lash extender instead of the five one that I was meant to buy. Um, so, I'll show you the difference on that. I mean, as you can see, they're both black. Um, the difference between them is this one's a lot longer than this one. Um, and I think this one has got... I'm sure this one has got more, like... Bad, uh, like bristles that get your lashes a lot more better like they it clings to your lashes a lot more better whereas this one d 
does the same but doesn't cling to them as much um, and I have been using this one recently and I absolutely love it I think it's a great mascara um, and yeah absolutely love it it's of course in black um, and then the last things I've got to show you is they bring out a new lipstick which is this one it is the velvet matte lipstick um, and I've got three colours, basically I brought one of them when they first came out to give them a test to see what they were like, um, which this one is in and Ammonite, just looks like this, um, and these are absolutely gorgeous, I think these are going to be, like these are actually my new favourite lipsticks that they've done, um, purely because when you put them on, um, they are so creamy and soft um, that it doesn't feel like there's anything on your lips but they're just so creamy and soft that they just sit nicely um, so I've got obviously the Anamite which is one I've had for a while and then I've got two colours which I haven't tried yet but I've recently brought them because I thought they would be all right shades for me and the only other two shades that would probably match my skin tone. So I've got Autumn, which is, if I just open it, so I've got Autumn, which is a slightly darker brown than the one there, the Aramite, because the Aramite is like a lighter brown. And then I've got he fat which is i would say sort of like a pinkish color um yeah sort of like a pinkish color so uh, i can't wait to try these two shades out and see what they look like and uh yeah so that's sorry this video is so short uh, but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed uh make sure to leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you want to see more and i'll speak to you guys later Bye.